Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little bonnet for little girls between six and nine months old. It's part of this baby set that I already showed you. I showed you how to make the little jacket, the matching pants, the matching sun hat, and now the matching baby bonnet. So I hope you like it. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the links to these three tutorials, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so I hope you like it, and without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. To begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. I'm using Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett in this white color, and I'm also going to use a little bit in pink. If you're in the US, you can use any light number three baby yarn. Okay, so to begin, we're going to make a magic circle. To do that, we're going to hold the yarn like this, wrap it around your finger, then hold it right here, open the circle, and grab a loop. That's all, like this. Bring it through the front, hold it, chain two. If you have a hard time doing the magic circle, what you can do is just chain four and then join to the first chain with a slip stitch, then chain two. Now, inside this circle here, we're going to make 12 double crochets so continue and make your 12 double crochets then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 12 double crochets. Now to finish, uh, we're just going to pull this so that this circle here closes and we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row with 12 double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two. These two chains never count as a stitch from here on. So now, into the same stitch here where I did the slip stitch, we're going to make two double crochets. Two double crochets on top of the next double crochet. Two double crochets on top of the next, and so on. For this row, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to make two double crochets on top of each one of the double crochets from the previous row. At the end of this second row, we're going to have a total of 24 double crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the second row. I have a total of 24 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain two. Into this same stitch here, we're going to make two double crochets into the next one double crochet. This is how we're going to continue, just alternating between two, one, two, one. So into the next, make two double crochets, into the next one, into the next two, and so on. Continue, at the end of this third row, you're going to have 36 double crochets. So continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the third row. I have a total of 36 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, you're going to chain two. Into this same stitch here, make two double crochets. One and two. Into the next two double crochets, we're going to make one double crochet on each. One and one. So this is how you're going to continue. You're going to make two double crochets, then one, one, two one one two one one and so on so into this next one we have to make two double crochets into the same stitch then one double crochet into the next and one double crochet into the next continue like this for this fourth row at the end of this row you should have 48 double crochets i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of the fourth row. I have a total of 48 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row, chain two, and into the same stitch here, make two double crochets. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then one, one, one. So into the next three double crochets, make one double crochet on each. So that's one, two, and three. Now again, repeat the same thing into the next, make two double crochets into the same stitch, then into the next three, make one double crochet on each. It's one, two, three. This is how we're going to continue for this fifth row. At the end of the fifth row, we're going to have 60 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. 
I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 60 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then one, 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 one. Again, two double crochets, then one, 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 one. So let me show you. Into the same stitch, we do the slip stitch, make your first two double crochets then into the next four make one double crochet on each one so that's one two three four then again make two double crochets into the next one and two and into the next four make one double crochet on each this is how you're going to continue for this sixth row at the end of this row we should have a total of 72 double crochets continue like this and i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this sixth row i have a total of 72 double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the seventh row chain two and into this first stitch where we did the slip stitch make two double crochets in this row we're going to make two double crochets then into the next five double crochets one double crochet on each so here i'm going to make a double crochet double crochet that's two three four five into the next two double crochets and then again make five double crochets this is how I'm going to continue for this seventh row. At the end of this row, I'm going to have a total of 84 double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Up to here, I have 84 double crochets. Now, at the end of this seventh row, we're going to add one more double crochet here into this last double crochet right there so now i have a total of 85 double crochets to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the eighth row chain one into the same stitch we did the slip stitch make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next and so on at the end of this eighth row you're going to have a total of 85 half double crochets i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have a total of 85 half double crochets. Now to finish, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the eighth row. Now from here on, we're going to start counting rows. So for row one, chain three, th these three chains here counts as your first double crochet. Into the next, make a double crochet, double crochet into the next, double crochet into the next and so on continue like this until you have 75 double crochets and i'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next i did a total of 75 double crochets we're going to leave these 10 uh, stitches like this this is going to be the back of the neck so for the second row we're going to chain three and turn in this row we're going to make front post and back post double crochets so beginning into the second double crochet make a front post double crochet the next one back post double crochet next one front post double crochet next one back post double crochet look we'll continue like this alternating between these two stitches a front post and a back post double crochet all the way to the end i will meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row. In this row, we did front post and back post double crochets. Now to finish, I'm going to pinch here the second chain at the end right there and make one last double crochet. And this is how I finish this second row with a total of 75 double crochets. Now from here on, these are the two rows that we're going to repeat, the row of double crochets and the row of front post and back post double crochets. So for the next row, row three, chain three, and turn here in this row we're going to make double crochets on top of each one of these double crochets from the previous row like this when you finish this row right here don't forget to make one last double crochet on top of the three chains chain three turn and then repeat the row we just did front post and back post double crochets so these are the two rows that you're going to repeat i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next
Okay, I did a total of 10 rows. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. My last row here was the row where I do front post and back post double crochets, and it's measuring. It's about, let's see, it's about, it's almost six and a half inches, which is about 16 centimeters. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one, Two, and we're going to turn this like this now into this space right here where the front post and the normal double crochet joins you see right there right into that space right there I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to make a slip stitch um, I didn't want to cut my yarn so I'm going to do it like this and really doesn't look too bad there now chain three one two three and into this same stitch here make a double crochet now we're going to skip one two three and into this space right there make a v stitch search your hook like this make a double crochet chain one double crochet again skip one two three and into this space here make a double crochet chain one double crochet again skip one two three and into this space right there make a double crochet chain one double crochet this is all we're going to do so continue like this and I'll meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end. I have a total of 24 V stitches up to here. Now, here at the end, I'm going to skip four instead of three. So that's one, two, three, four. And into this space right there, I'm going to make my last V stitch. Like this, okay? So now I have 25 V stitches. Now I've cut my yarn, so pass your yarn through this last loop and this part here is done. Now we're going to go here to this end, right here, inside this first V stitch, I have this loop here. This is the pink color. And with the pink color, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Inside this V stitch, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Jump to the next V stitch, and same thing, make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue and I'll meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these fans here inside each one of these V stitches. Here at the end, I just cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go here into this last fan that we did, and with the color white, I'm going to go on top of the last double crochet right there and chain two. One, two. Inside the chain one space here, make one single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Chain two, between the fans right in the middle, make one single crochet, two chains and then again inside the chain one space make a single crochet three chains single crochet two chains same thing between the fence a single crochet this is how i'm going to continue for this row so i'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next and that's what it looks like Okay, I finished making this row and this is what it looks like. Here at the end, I did two chains and then I went on top of the three chains and did a slip stitch. Cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go into this row that we have and with the pink color, here I'm gonna make a loop. We're going to go on top of this last double crochet right here grab a loop, chain, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now into the next stitch right there, make a slip stitch, into the next, a slip stitch, into the next slip stitch. 
I'm going to do this all the way to the end. This is so that this part here around the face is not too loose. It's going to close it a bit around the face so that it looks a lot nicer. So continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this row of slip stitches all around and that's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go here. This is where, where I finished. I'm going to chain one and here we're going to make single crochets along this side. We're going to make sure to also insert our hook through these stitches along the very edge here um, where we did these fans so that it looks um, a lot nicer around the back. So chain one into this first space here, make a single crochet, single crochet, that's two. Now here into the next, make sure you grab this double crochet and this double crochet. So insert your hook there, make two single crochets, one and two. Now into the next, insert your hook into this and into the back and make two single crochets, one and two. And then we have this next space there, same thing. Make two single crochets, that's one and two. Let's see, no, I can do one more. and two and here now I'm just going to work two single crochets that's one and two one and two one and two same thing here two single crochets and two single crochets now into this last double crochet I'm not going to do anything so let me count your the stitches to make sure we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen single crochets. Now we're going to work these ten double crochets here plus one on each side. So I'm going to insert my hook into this half double crochet that's got this double crochet there. So into this stitch there, make a double crochet that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, we did twelve double crochets there. Now we have the three chains. We're going to skip these and go into the next stitch here and make a single crochet. Here on this side, we're going to make sure to have 12 single crochets because that's what we had here on this side. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then into the next, we're going to do two, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17 and here at the end I'm going to insert my hook through the first slip stitch here instead of the space so that's 18 looks nicer this way I think and that's what it looks like so we have 18 single crochets 12 double crochets and then 18 single crochets now for the next row we're going to chain three these three chains counts as your first double crochet now into the next work a double crochet that's two three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, I'm only going to make 17 double crochets here. I'm going to skip one and I'm going to go on top of the first double crochet and make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve double crochets. Now skip one single crochet on and on top of the next make a double crochet. Now from here on we're going to work 17 double crochet so continue and we'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of this row i did 17 double crochets here now chain one turn and we're going to work one more row of single crochets this time so between each one of the stitches we're going to make the single crochet so like this you can do them on top if you like i like to do them in between the double crochets so continue like this all the way to the other side right here and i'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making this last row here i also went ahead and added a ribbon here around the back here i just sewed in these little flowers you can see it through there and the little bonnet is done that's what it looks like i think it turned out super cute so now you have the option to either do the bonnet or the little sun hat. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the links to these three tutorials, which include the baby pants and the matching little sweater. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.